Okay guys, welcome back. I am excited today because I am going to get to test the Federal 147 grain HST rounds versus the Winchester Ranger 1 147 grain uh, 9mm rounds. Uh, head to head in the same brand new um, blocks of uh, homemade ballistics gel through a brand new a uh, barrier of one layer of denim, one layer of fleece, two layers of cotton t-shirt material. To compare them heads up through a uh, short barrel, a uh, 3.1 and 3.7 inch 9mm uh, barrels. To see which, if either, are good options for concealed carry. Now again, both of these are manufactured for law enforcement use, being the heavier non-plus uh, either These are standard pressure rounds. Um, they're meant uh, intended for you know full size carry, so they're intended for those four and a half, five inch plus barrel carry. That's what they're intended for. Um, but we're going to see if they'll perform through the, the short barrel again. HSTs, everybody knows HSTs uh, in nine millimeter. There's quite a few varieties. I think they're all wonderful in nine millimeter. Um, there's the, uh, sealant on, this one has a sealant, a primer sealant on it, but, uh, again, brass case, and there it is, is with its six pedal, uh, HST design. The, uh, Ranger here is a little different. Um, also, um, uh, sorry, I said brass case. Uh, this is, a um, um, nickel case. Sorry. The, uh, HST is nickel case. Um, so is the Ranger. The Ranger is a nickel case. Uh, I don't see any visible primer sealant on this. Um, uh, doesn't mean there isn't any, but I did not see any on here. Um, and this one has um, taken um, Hornady's uh, polymer insert design and decided to throw in a, a blue polymer insert for the Ranger 1s. Uh, again, we tested previously the 124 grain plus P, their, their self-defense rounds. That has a red polymer insert. These Ranger 1s have the blue one. And again, this looks like um, the uh, a new, looks like an 8-petal design there, if you count those pedals on there. So, I'm excited to get these out to the range and see how they do. So, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see how they do. Then we'll talk about it back here afterwards. All right, back at the range, testing 9mm through the 3.1 inch Ruger LC9S on the left and the 3.7 inch SIG P365XL on the right. Going through heavy clothing test of one layer of denim, one layer of fleece, two layers of cotton t-shirt material. It's a brand new uh, barrier setup and I've got brand new, newly melted, newly made ja, homemade ballistic gel blocks that we'll be going through today. All right, first up, we have the uh, 147 grain Federal HSTs 9mm versus the brand new Ranger 1 147 grain bonded uh, hollow point. This is both law enforcement ammunition, but again, we test them through the short barrels for potential concealed carry uh, self-defense capabilities. We're going to start off with the uh, Ranger 1. All right, Ruger LC9S, hit right there. Not a lot of damage that I can see inside. All the way through, came out the back right here, into the water jug, all the way through the water jug, and into the fabric stopping. There it is, no expansion from the uh, Ruger LC9S 3.1 inch barrel. Okay, much better results with the longer 3.7 inch SIG. Bullet went in right here from the top. You can look down in there and see the disruption down in there. Bullet went into the second block. It's right down there. Total length from the end of the block, if we look down in there, is right at 16 inches, right down there, 16 inches in the block. LC9S right, right in here. 
Good damage track in there. And got bullet got to right there. That is front end of that is right at right at 15 inches. And we'll take the 3.7 inch, then we'll dig those guys out. Okay, maybe a little close, but that uh, Federal HST came down in there and actually ended up right next to the uh, the uh, Ranger 1 in the block. And that's a total of, again, right down there, leading edge, right about 16 inches, if you can see that, 16 inches in there. So, uh, and figure out the best way to dig these guys out um, and uh, we'll uh, dig them out and take a look all right here are the results of our test uh, through the 3.1 inch uh, this is the federal HST 147 grain through the 3.7 inch there's the HST uh, Ranger 1 through the 3.1 inch no expansion and your little uh, the little polymer inserts still there through the 3.7 inch, we had expansion. It's a pretty good penetration. And the polymer plug is probably somewhere in the block. When I melt it, I'll probably find that. But uh, we'll uh, measure these up back at home. Okay, back from the range. And I'm going to say that was uh, pretty disappointing, actually, for the Ranger 1s. Um, HSTs, no surprise. They did really really well you know out of the 3.1 inch barrel we had the nice um, good penetration good flowering um, this is the again the later double cantalure design so it's meant for not quite as big of expansion as the original 147s but deeper penetration and uh did did pretty well um through the uh, 3.1 inch barrel, we got to 15 inches in, in shell penetration and really good flowering out of the 3.7 inch barrel. Um, we got a little bit deeper to 16 inches in penetration and again, really good um, flowering. There's a little bit of gel and stuff still left in there, but um, HSTs, you know, 9 millimeter HSTs, any variety, they seem to just come out winning. Um, they're just really good. Ranger 1s, however, um, the 3.1 inch barrel, um, it had a complete pass through. Um, it shot through the heavy clothing, through roughly 20 inches of gel, through the one water jug stopper, and got caught in the fabric barrier behind that. So, uh, complete pass through, and as you can see, no expansion. Um, so again, um, but the 3.7 inch uh, did show some life. Uh, we did get some expansion out of the 3.7 inch. Uh, this one you can see has a single cantilever design on there. Um, but uh, yeah, this one did expand, uh, did reach it, reach 16 inches in penetration. So um, did pretty well. Um, yeah, um, um, not as good as the HSTs in my opinion. The HSTs got bigger. Uh, but we'll weigh these up, and um, as we weigh them up here, I'll uh, I'll uh, put the uh, expansion. Uh, I took photos instead of running through the calipers again, so we'll put that up here on the screen. So here is the 3.1 inch Ranger. Um, oh, sorry, we have it set to uh, ounces. So let me set it back to uh, grains here. So it should be at. Um, 147 and yeah we're we didn't lose any any weight on this one so that was the 3.1 inch and then we'll go here to the uh 3.7 inch again i'll throw the expansion up there while we're weighing this out um yep 146 again no no weight loss uh remember my uh scale here is not a not super super delicate so it comes you know it's off a grain or two here or there these ones still have some gel stuck in them so we'll see how they perform here uh, coming in heavy at 150, but again, that's going to be the the gel that's uh, stuck on there. Um, and that's the 3.1 inch, so again, I'll stick that up there too, as far as the uh, expansion on that. 
Um, and uh, what I'm putting out there is the, the high numbers. Uh, 3.7 inch, again, coming in heavy because of the the gel that's crusted under the pedals there. I didn't clean it all out. So, but these didn't lose any weight. They don't, gen, HST generally don't lose any weight. So again, from the 3.1 inch, uh, the measurements there, uh, I was, again, nothing beyond the, the 0.35 inches of the core. Um, the, uh, the Ranger, um, since it has four pedal design, um, it was uh, 0 0.53, and 0.55, as you saw, was the high. The uh, the 3.1 for the HST was 0 0.62, 0 0.62, and 0 0.63 inches. And um, for the uh, 3.7, it was 0 0.62 all the way around were the high points. So, again, HSTs did really, really well, as always. Ranger 1s, uh, again, the other thing I wanted to mention is that the Ranger 1s are, are newer to the market. Um, they're really meant for law enforcement. They're not really meant for civilian purchase. I picked some up, uh, I think, at Optics Planet. Um, there's only a couple other sites that even have them available right now, and they're expensive. Um, I, I want to say for a box of 50, it averaged out to about $1.30 a round. It was like $63, $65, something like that, to get that box of ammo. Um, I looked at on Ammo Seek and I found that these HSTs uh, in 147 grain right now you can find them for around 75 cents a round. So again, a buck 30 for these versus 75 cents for the HSTs. I'm gonna pick HSTs in nine millimeter all day long. Um, and, and, you know, again, this is not my favorite weight. I've mentioned before the 124 grain is is kind of what I prefer, um, but you can't knock this performance. Um, Ranger one. I was so looking forward to testing them. Um, disappointed. Um, I'll probably test them again in a full size to see how they do. Uh, but but yeah, just uh, I mean, just disappointing. Um, uh, just disappointing for this. So um, that's what I got for you today. Uh, stay tuned. While I was at the range, I also t did. A fair amount of 380 testing, um, again, also in, in my new gel blocks, and uh, um, so uh, that's coming too. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, you know, comment below what you think, uh, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.